Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 52. Today we're going to talk about uh, the iOS emulator that I use on my Mac. Now this stems from some questions I got after my last episode where I talked about starting with WP Touch Pro 3. Before we get into that, I just want to point out a new book that I'm working on uh, on my own site called uh, Don't Be an Idiot, Learn to Run a Viable Business. Uh, after talking with a bunch of freelancers over the last number of months and years really, uh, I've just seen a bunch of best practices that people simply aren't doing. Uh, so if you're running a freelance business and want some advice, you can go to my site at curtismichael.ca slash products and it's run a viable freelance business. And I'll put this in the show notes. So you can see here, uh, even in my screenshot, that I have a nice iOS emulator there. And I am on a Mac. So what I did in the screencast is I just grabbed it from my dock. It says iOS simulator which is not very useful to see what I'm using. So let's remove this from the dock. What I'm using is Xcode. Now Xcode is available on the App Store, so let's bring that up. It's actually a fairly big download, a few gigabytes at least. So I've got it installed. I believe it's $4.99, um, but it might actually even be free. I was looking at that up again to make sure because I got it quite a while ago. Um, and I couldn't actually tell. So at the most it's $4.99 uh, unless you have a developer license, in which case it's free with a developer license for sure, but then you paid $100 for a developer license. And you simply download that. So you'll see actually see some tutorials about looking through all your files and digging out your iOS simulator. That's a waste of time. If we just open up Xcode, and if you're wondering, this is Alfred that I'm using to fire up my applications. You open up Xcode, and then I'm just gonna go to or is it a simulator? iOS simulator right there. Open developer tool, iOS simulator. So Xcode, open developer tool, iOS simulator. And there it is now. So I can cancel. And this is actually a totally separate app. You can see the two of them there. Quit Xcode. And then what I do is right click on it keep in dock. Now I never have to go find it again. Uh, unfortunately with Alfred it doesn't just boot up. Let me show you. So the nice thing about your iOS Xcode simulator is that it'll do anything in iOS. So if we want to do a different hardware, so right now it's an iPhone, but if you want to do an iPad Retina, it'll switch over. Now see this is huge. I'm on a Dell uh, UltraSharp monitor right now. So let's go to there's a window, scale, let's take it down to 50%. So this is a Retina one, giving us the proper resolution, but at 50% of the actual size based on my monitor. Uh, and then we can also rotate it. Yeah, that's about it. We can said we can do a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, and you can even do, you can practice with TV out. And yeah, scaling. This is what I use. Uh, to test my iOS devices. Uh, it certainly is no uh, total replacement for actually having the device in your hands. There's just something different about it, but this is where I start with everything. I make sure it all works and all functions, and then uh, I can go into uh, an actual device and double check it. Now, one thing that this doesn't really do is really let you inspect code, right? If we open up Safari, and this is going for my local site, great. But I'm right clicking here and you can't tell, it gives us nothing. So what I do when I'm actually testing, let's bring this back up. Let's go local dot. So here's my local site and this is responsive. Great, but remember this also has WP Touch Pro installed on it. So what we're gonna do is inspect element. You wanna hit this little gear in the bottom corner. Now we can go to user agent and we can check that off and we can do iPhone for iOS 5. So now we're emulating iPhone, iOS 5, and you can see we have other things, iOS 4, iPad, and that's excellent. And now if we refresh, we've got it. And we can even inspect element and actually work with the code. So if I you know, can't track down that ID I'm trying to deal with or something like that, then actually we'll just go into Chrome and I'll start refreshing and check. And then I have a second monitor off to the side, which you guys can't see. And that's where I actually I usually have my iOS simulator because uh, on that it's uh, it's flipped. It's, the not, it's not the standard way you put a monitor. So I can get taller things in there like the iPad. 
and still have it full uh, resolution and really see what things are going to look like. So that's how I do my iOS testing. Next time we'll start digging into WP Touch Pro 3 more. Thanks for watching.